What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Fresh Kitchen. We're gonna cook some mussels today. Yes. So mussels, right? I have three pounds of fresh mussels that I clean. About a tablespoon worth of parsley. Cup or about a whole yellow onion. I got a quarter cup to a half a cup of minced garlic. I have some chorizo, some cheap white wine. And don't forget your butter. How are we gonna start? First, get some olive oil. And we're gonna put some olive oil in here. Now, usually I'll use a, uh, a pan, a saute pan, but for three pounds, I bought out the Big Mama. This broth is gonna go great with some brioche bread. It's sweet, it's savory, the texture's awesome. And if for you uh, purists out there, also got some crusty bread too. All right, we're back. I just had to switch the, uh, the camera over. Here you can see my pan, nice and hot. We're gonna throw in our onions, one cup, remember? And all we wanna do here, we don't wanna fry them. We just want to get them soft. We're going to add in our garlic. And I'm going to take up my handy dandy wooden spoon. And just get this working. Throw in a little bit more olive oil. Hmm. I wish you could have smell vision because this already smells great. What we do want is a little bit of caramelization and a little bit of crust. But you'll start to see some of these onions, some of this garlic will start to crust a little bit. And that's going to be great when we deglaze our pan with that white wine. So there's our onions and our garlic. Keep stirring this a little bit. You can start to see some of that caramelization. You can see right there, right there, you see that? That's the caramelization. It's gonna start sticking to the pan a little bit. That's what we wanna see. I know this time of year, it's gonna get cold out. You want something very filling and get, get nice and warm in front of the fire or on your Netflix fire and say, oh man, I feel so warm. All right, so this is starting to come along a little bit. I'm um, going to turn up the heat a little bit more. As we can see, it's starting to caramelize a little bit more. Raising the heat is, is what we want when it comes to the deglaze. We really want to get that sugar, that sweetness from the, from the onions and from the garlic and get it all working together. I'm going to add my chorizo. This is optional. Don't need to. I like it. It's not super spicy, but it's got a lot of flavor. Turn on my heat. Stir it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add my butter. Now, you can cut this, you can add it whole. I'm just gonna break off little knobs of it. So, give that a little stir. You wanna layer your flavors one flavor at a time. You don't wanna dump everything in there because guess what? Certain things cook faster than others. So we did some diced onions, some minced garlic, a little bit of chorizo, some butter, and now we're just letting that caramelize. Here's what we got. Nice and caramely, my butter is browning. The chorizo is also browning. And now I got some crust on those onions. I'm gonna take my bottle of wine and I'm probably gonna use about half of it. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little hotter so we can start um, kind of burning off a little bit of that um, alcohol. You hear that? That's deglaze. Boom, about half the bottle. We're gonna add our parsley. I'm gonna take some salt. About a, about a half a tablespoon. And take my pepper, another quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So we're gonna get this really hot. Then we're gonna throw in our mussels and I might add a little bit more butter. Right here, we're gonna let that, um, that white wine kind of simmer off a little bit, let the alcohol cook off. And add our mussels. Boom. Put these guys in there. What you definitely, definitely, definitely want is the mussels to open. If you do see a closed mussel, toss it. I, uh, I've never had a good encounter with a closed mussel. And I have this sheet pan of assorted breads, my crusty loaf, my brioche. Everything is gonna go uh, in the oven, 375, about seven minutes while this finishes cooking. I'm gonna throw the top on this, throw my bread in the oven. Enjoy this glass of wine, guys. Cheers, and I can't wait to show you the finished product. Okay, so we've been through this journey. We went from fresh garlic, chopped onion, parsley, chorizo, white wine, some red chili flakes, mussels, and butter. We seasoned it, we got it nice and caramelized, we deglazed. Now, as a home chef, you need to do yourself this favor and try as you go. So what we're gonna do, take our handy spoon. I'm gonna take my, my pot here and I'm gonna take my spoon. We're gonna try it. Mm, mm, yes. 
Yes, please. Thank you. This guy, call it a day and let this simmer a little bit longer. And we have ourselves a great muscle meal. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the final product.